Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I just got done reading Ichibaka's um, lovely blog called Disney Star Wars is Dumb about uh, the latest Star Wars novelist's Twitter meltdown. Um, Paul S. Kemp is his name. Uh, he wrote a book about the Sith Lords and uh, got on there and jumped on the Kelly Marie Tran, Tran has been bullied bandwagon. And he's insane. Um, I've learned all kinds of different words from him. Like, I now know what insult means. It means uh, basically a guy who's celibate, not by choice. It's a, it's a teenage pejorative. This is the mindset of the people who write for Star Wars now. They're a bunch of... Uh, uh, Let's see, uh, mega, mega stunted adolescence in their maturity level. I mean, anyway, and then I don't know what, what is a cis gender? I don't. You think a guy in his, I think, who's 49 years old would not talk like this? I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, um, he is up there with, uh, Chuck Wendig. Um, and I gotta say, these guys weren't just recruited. They were uh, picked out by Carrie Hart. It's another indication of who she is, which is why she's gotta go. If, I mean, if Kennedy's out, everybody she, she brought in with her goes too. And, uh, it's really interesting how completely unhinged these people have become. I mean, you know, the guy writes one novel, he gets on the Twitter, starts screaming, and it's like, really, dude? Really? I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll grab, uh, let's see if I can find Itchy's uh, blog here, because it's just, it's fascinating. Um, it's, <laughs> I can't even describe it. Uh, this guy's nuts. Um, see if I can find it. Ichibaka, where are you? Uh, my uh, laptop, or my uh, iPad is very, very old, so bear with me. So I hope everybody's having a good day while I slowly, slowly... Um, I, I, I'm not gonna be able to find it. It's it's in there somewhere. Anyway, uh, I suggest you go you go read it. You get you get it downloaded, um, and you read and you read this because the Twitter screed is literally the craziest thing I've ever read in my life, except for Chuck Wendix. I think I think it went almost as long as Wendix. I mean, it's it's fabulous. I mean. And it's fascinating looking at looking at the uh, the psychology behind it. I mean, this stuff. I, I think Jordan Peterson would have a blast uh, analyzing these guys. I think he would just. It would just. I mean, they could almost be his life's work, trying to figure out what makes weirdos like that tick. So anyway, um, you know, I just had to say something because. When uh, Jeremy brought, you know, and I blocked, uh, Kemp a long time ago. Uh, here's the deal, and, 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 and this is the reason that what really profounds me, bugs me profoundly, is these people aren't fiction writers, like Herman Woke's a fiction writer, like Vince Flynn is a fiction writer. They're not artists in that way. 
they are activists and everything they write, everything they do is based on, on their ideology and their political views. So they're not letting you escape into a different world to just get a break, you know, to, to look at something beautiful because they don't, these people don't make anything beautiful. I have never, as, as many people said they, they liked Claudia Gray's novel Bloodlines, most of the rest of them, most everybody said it was boring. It was crappy writing. Uh, and, you know, Chuck Wendig's Aftermath uh, was boring, fragmented shite. And then, you know, now you got, you know, I, I actually picked up the last Jedi novel just to read the prologue. And it was poorly written. Uh, last Shot is poorly written. Uh, I don't think uh, Daniel Jose Elder has any clue about Han Solo or Lando Calrissian. I really, really don't. Or Leia at all. Okay. Um, I know that Claudia Gray doesn't either. Um... So, you know, these people don't, aren't Star Wars fans to begin with. They were chosen, I don't know why, probably because they fit a certain ideology that, uh, you know, Carrie Hart and her boss, uh, the illustrious Kathleen Kennedy, wanted to put out there. So, um, <coughs> it, you know, it, it, and... They fit that ide ideology that, you know, I mean, and that's why they got the jobs. It's not that they're good writers. It's not that they, uh, you know, understand anything of what they're doing. The characters, Lucas's vision, anything. They got the job because they're activists who happen to write novels about their activism. There you go. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to put Itchy's blog on in the description so you guys can read it because the Twitter screed is hysterical. Uh, it should go right up in the greatest Twitter, Twitter screeds of all time with Chuck, Chuck Wendix of a few weeks ago. So anyway, I just wanted to put my two cents in. Uh, uh, I'm still kind of blown away. I think Paul Kemp is kind of a scary guy too. Ken, Wendig is too. I mean, there's a lot of pathology going on there that is not not normal. And it's kind of violent, actually. So, um, this is Steph. Just chiming in. See you on the galaxy. Oh, and one more thing. I wanted to add this. I discovered what incel means. Uh, Mr. Kemp is obviously talking about himself because no woman would touch him with a 10-foot pole. It means... Let me grab my thing. Come on. Thank you, iPad. I have a very old iPad. Uh, it means... It's a new... It's, it's actually a pejorative in teenage vernacular. It's short for involuntary, cel involuntary celibate. So he's obviously talking about himself, Chuck Wendig. You know... I mean, no one, no woman would ever touch Chuck Wendig. I mean, ugh. Anyway, this is Steph. Trying to just be kind of funny on Friday. See you around the galaxy.